Welcome to the second episode of WP Theme Tutorial Screencasts. Today we're going to go over working with Gravity Forms and Sugar CRM. So let's get started. Gravity Forms is a form plugin for WordPress. In my opinion, it is the best form plugin by far. Don't use it unless you want to have to buy it because it is a good form plugin. Sugar CRM is a client relations management system. It's meant for managing your contacts as they come in uh, through your forms or through any other resource so that you can help keep track and follow up with your clients well. So let's start by jumping in with our code. You can see I've started off and I have a basic plugin header. We're going to add this as a plugin to our, our site and not as a, as a theme function. The reason we're going to do this is because we most likely want our integration with Sugar CRM and Gravity Forms to live past the next design of this site. So we want to add it as a plugin, not as something in the theme, which will change with our next uh, version. So we can see, as I said, we have the header. The first thing we need to do is go and get our new SOAP client. The new SOAP client will allow us to communicate with the SOAP API with PHP. So you can find this on SourceForge under Projects and New SOAP. I already have it downloaded. So I am going to bring up Finder. And you unpack it, I've renamed it to be New Soap, and then I'm going to drag it into the plugin folder that I'm working with. You can see that I have it there as New Soap. So now that we have that in our plugin folder, we need to include it, include the library so that we can actually use it. And you can see there I have included the New Soap library in the New Soap.php file. Now we actually need some more code from, I'm not going to be able to say his name very well, it's Constantine, and I'm not even going to say the last name because I'm going to mess it up. He wrote a uh, PHP class that actually communicates with Sugar CRM. Now his version is a couple, it's two, two years old, it's from 2010. So there are a few errors in it, um, particularly how you communicate with a new SOAP client. So you need to make some updates. The code that I'm going to work with today has these updates and does work. So let's grab his class. And now we have his class in our site. Now there are a few things we need to change in the class. You can see on line 56, we need the URL to our location of Sugar CRM. So we need to make sure we change that or else it's not going to actually communicate with your uh, Sugar CRM. So that'd be something like and you can find more uh, in the documentation on Sugar CRM on how to get your location. The other thing we're going to want to change is our application name to whatever, my application, your application, whatever else you want. So now we can send information to Sugar CRM, but we're not actually doing anything with our gravity form yet. So let's start with our gravity form integration. This is a basic plugin start or function documentation start. So there's a big yellow to-do note in there because I don't know the URL to the screencast yet, and I'll plug that in after. Now we also need to add an action so that after our gravity form is run, we actually have this action as well. And the action is called gform after submission. And we're going to run the theme twp send info to sugar. Ten two. So currently this would run after our form, but it's not going to do anything because we have no code. Additionally, the gform after submission uh, hook will run every form. If we wanted to run it only on form one, then we'd add underscore one. You can figure out your form ID by visiting your site, going to your form, and then looking in the URL, and you can see this is form ID one. So if I want it to run on one, I currently have the hook set up to do that. The last thing we need to do is actually grab our code that is going to send and communicate the data to Sugar. 
So that's it right there. Again, on this, there'd be some information you need to change. Right here, we need to change our username and our password to your actual username and password. You also want to change the form name to whatever the form is you have, the description to whatever the description is, and then the lead status. Typically on a form, I would say this is going to be new. This is a new lead coming in, but it may not always be the case for you. And now we also need to map our fields to the Sugar CRM fields. So we're pulling in the entry object from Gravity Forms. In this case, we're pulling in the entry object with field ID 1 for our first name. If we go back to that form I had, you can see it says when we hover over it, name field ID 1. So currently this would send the first name to the name field. And you can see we also, we also had an email there, and that's field ID 2. If I wanted to send the email, that would now be field ID 2. And that's it. Now this hook would run when we submit that gravity form and it would send our information to Sugar CRM so that we can track it for later. I've actually already bundled all of this code into a plugin which you can find on GitHub under my username which is Curtis McHale and it's called Gravity Forms and Sugar CRM. There's currently no plan to do any more updates to this. I'm not going to make it work with an admin UI or anything like that. So you'd simply install it as you would any other plugin and then make the modifications to it yourself uh, so that it suits your environment. If you'd like the screencasts, I would love it if you'd head over to iTunes, look up the show under WP Theme Tutorial, and give us a rating. This is only the second episode we're recording, so there is no ratings, and I'm not even sure if I can rate it myself, but you'll see one at least if I can. That's it. Thanks for watching.